crypto lightsaber back with another video guys so today i'm going to talk about drip i'm going to talk about splassive both of which i have topped up my bags on these projects um drip i think is super bullish uh, we're probably going to see some positive price action potentially out of this project especially when i show you some of the news that we've got on this i'm going to give you a little bit of insight of why i've decided to buy drip now rather than later okay guys and um we're also going to talk about splashive i've also topped up on this so we will move on and talk about splashive once we've gone over some of the bullish uh, bullet points on drip okay guys so if you look at my drip account i'm now up to uh just over a thousand drip on this account I also have another drip account which i do the compounding only okay guys so this one um, i'm glad to see this one up over a thousand drip managed to pick drip up at around 18 dollars okay so that is definitely a better price uh, than 191 dollars okay if you're looking to accumulate um if you look at the chart you, you see drip has been going sideways for a little while now okay guys it was down to about 15 dollars the other day i should have really pulled the trigger then um, but the fact that we've got some movement out of it is literally probably probably a bit of a safer entry than getting in at $15 because we should, could have seen it tumble a little bit further. Okay, guys, uh, why I'm bullish on drip. Okay, so if we look at the recent announcement from for it shock okay i was looking for it through telegram and i couldn't find it but i know that i sent some information to a couple of friends well to my 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 friend and my brother um about drip um uh, just the other day by text message so i've just copied and pasted it from my text messages from what i i sent to them okay um so let's just take that out because that's actually what i um that's what i wrote to my brother and um yeah so First of all, uh, the scratch, uh, the scratchy ticket project. Okay, so obviously we know that Four It Shark has been working hard on the animal farm. Um, in the AMAs, he said that after the animal farm is done up and up and running, he's going to be focusing on uh, getting drip, um, um, promoting drip again. Okay, now obviously we know that the animal farm is not completely up and running yet. The piggy bank and the pigs token has launched, um, but we're still waiting for the dogs and the farms to go live. But in the meantime, we have this announcement. Okay, so we've got the scratchy tickets. Um, if you guys don't know what that's about, okay, there's going to be a scratch card ticket thing, um, which you can also convert into an NFT. And um, yeah, there's some kind of lottery that's going on with that. Okay, so he reckons that that will be generating approximately a thousand BNB per day. Okay, now 20% of that every day will be buying drip. Okay, and send it to the tax vault. Okay, so the tax vault is where we actually get our our payments from, right? So for those that say it's a Ponzi, um, you know, it's not a Ponzi because you're not paying, um, you, it's, it's not just taking other investors' money and just paying people out. Um, rewards are getting paid from the tax vault. Okay, so that's where your 1% a day comes from, up to 365%. Okay, your deposits go in there, your 1% a day is withdrawn from over here, right? So 1,000 BNB. 20% of that going to the tax vault, so approximately 200 BNB, and these are um, estimates, right? So if 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 that's if if he is um, able to generate that sort of revenue, that's obviously going to be good for drip, an extra 200 BNB going into the price of uh, uh, contributing to the positive price action on drip every single day. So starting at a thousand BNB a day, and we'll scale up to 10,000 BNB a, a BNB a day. So that's anywhere from 200 to 2,000 BNB of drip going to the tax vault each day. Okay, so just imagine 2,000 BNB going into the drip, okay, and pumping the price of this token every single day off the revenue generated from the scratcher tickets. That would be bullish, you know. It doesn't take, um, you know, a rocket scientist to know that that's bullish for the price of drip. Also, he talks about a meeting with um, a DEX, okay, and an announcement likely tomorrow on Crypto Junkies. So they've actually had the Crypto Junkies AMA. I haven't listened to it yet. Um, as far as I'm aware that he has dropped the name of this DEX on this on this AMA. So when I get to hear that, I'll probably um, know what that is. For some of you that, um, some of you might know what it is already. If you do, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to uh, get that information. But this is the DEX news that was spoken about previously, he said. Basically, you deposit DRIP, BUSD, LP tokens, they get locked up. This generates an NFT, and the NFT locks in a percentage yield over time, depending on when it was minted. The yield is paid out in the DEX's token. 
Uh, it's not PancakeSwap. It is an independent massive DEX on the Binance Smart Chain. Okay, so um, any yield um, from this is not going to be causing a negative price effect on Drip. In fact, it's going to cause a positive price effect on Drip because you've got to buy Drip, pair it up with BUSD, and then take that out of circulation. Okay, and 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 then um, the payments are getting paid out in the Dex's token and not Drip. Okay, guys, so that is definitely bullish as well for the price of Drip. Um, also, the new Drip BUSD pool capital will be staked with the above Dex. And the yield earned will go to buying more drip and sending it to the vault, the tax vault. 30 to 40% APY on 30 to $40 million worth of capital. That's approximately 15 to $20 million to buy drip to put into the vault. Okay, so that's more drip coming into the tax vault. For those that are wondering, you know, is drip sustainable? Uh, all of this would suggest that drip is sustainable at 1% a day with all of this yield uh, or all of this um, uh, money going into the tax vault. Uh, that's just going to be paying us more and more rewards, okay? It's always going to have a pool there that's going to cover rewards. New people getting in, existing people getting in. Um, a lot of people have reached their max payouts as well. So, um, yeah, bullish, okay? Moving on, um, where are we? So... The DEX, oh no, I've missed something. Okay, so DEX partnership will be causing a lot more transactions. There's a 10% buy and sell fee. That's all going to the drip tax vault live. Uh, and that's live in two weeks, guys. So two weeks, all right? I don't want to be buying it in two weeks. I want to be buying it now, which is why I put about, I'm not sure how much I put in, maybe about thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000. Okay, between drip and splassive, I spent about just under... Thirty thousand um, dollars in the last, um, you know, twelve hours or, or or a little bit more. Okay, guys. So um, yeah, I want to be accumulating more drip, and you know, it's going to give me more compounding power. Okay, guys. If I'm compounding now, um, obviously I'm going to be able to grow this ac account much quicker than what it was before because I've got more in there. Okay, guys. So uh, the debt partnership will cause a lot more transactions. Also, the 1% tax deposit fee from the Drip BUSD farm, it will continue to fund the vault once Animal Farm reopens. So once the Animal Farm reopens, we know how much you know volume the Animal Farm generates. Okay, we're talking about millions and millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions in capital. Okay, guys. So um, the 1% deposit fees from the Drip BUSD farm. Obviously, if you go on the Animal Farm, you will see a Drip BUSD uh, pool. Uh, that will continue to fund the tax vault once again, once the animal farm reopens. So more sustainability for the ta uh, for, for, for the rewards on drip. Okay. Um, finally, we have uh, games. Okay, so there's two games. One is an auto battler game. The other is a hacker game, and the contracts are built on Solana, waiting for them to get EVM compatibility. A couple of side chains have approached uh, have approached him. Um, whoever whoever him is and offered money to promote a game if we launch on their chain. He wants a popular chain. Now Binance is picking up their NFT game. We can maybe get it done on BSC. Okay, so, and then we have a mini DAO. Um, NFT to get into the mini DAO, it will be around uh, one tenth of the price of tier one using R34P or drip to buy it. Uh, watch the R34P token price go up. Okay, this is not BR34P, this is R34P. Um, this is the one on the Ethereum network, okay? Uh, Drip will go to the tax vault. Um, uh, probably only 1,000 NFTs will be released and they can be flipped or sold later. And also peer-to-peer -peer lending uh, will be done by the end of the year, maybe sooner, okay, guys? So obviously lending is always something bullish when it comes to DeFi, it's just another revenue stream as well. And so lots of bullish things for Drip. So I don't want to be waiting two weeks, I don't want to be waiting two months, I don't want to be waiting three months to start accumulating more drip. We see the price of drip come all the way down to $15, and now back up to eighteen sixty-five. of course. Um, you know, it's just a great time to be picking up some of this token. Just my opinion, okay, I could be wrong. We could see more downside for this, okay, guys, but just like I was saying to a friend earlier, I would rather buy drip now um, and face more downside than not buy drip now and see it start to go up and regret not buying drip or picking up more drip at $18, okay guys? So that is my game theory behind this, why I'm doing that, okay? In a bear market, 
All right, guys, this pay me 1% a day, up to 365%. So, you know, for me, I'm always happy to get that passive income. And, um, you know, glad to have my uh, Drip account back up to around $20,000. At its peak, uh, this was about $70,000, okay, guys? And it since went down about 10x, down to about, uh, you know, eight nine thousand dollars okay and now we've got it back up again all right guys so um you know i do have a second account like i said before that one i mainly mainly compound 90 percent 95 percent of that gets compounded every now and again i might take something out and send it somewhere just to do something with the with the with that okay guys but right about now i'm glad to have my two accounts back up around the thirty thousand dollar range so if drip decides to pump um, obviously, I'm going to benefit from the price appreciation as well as the 1% a day up to 365%. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can go and check that out. Also, Splassive. Okay, so Splassive is on the AVAX network. Let's just switch our network. Okay, guys, so we had a bit of a price spike in Splassive last night. Um, probably um, something to do with, um, you, know, um, you know, myself, um, you know, putting a large amount into this. Okay. Uh, the chart's not coming up all right the chart is coming up at the moment so i bought around here and i caused this little price spike okay guys um but the price is sitting at about one dollar and 98 okay it took it briefly over two dollars about two dollars and 15 cents so it's back down a little bit okay guys but splash i thought it was a good bet to sp uh, spread my bets not just put everything into drip put something into Splassive as well because Splassive is paying 2% a day. So if Splassive decides to go down 50% from here, I'm still going to get that same value proposal, you know, and still be getting, you know, uh, the same amount as if I would have put the same amount of money into Drip. So that is my mindset around that. All right, guys, I'm getting 2% a day on Splassive uh, rather than 1% a day on Drip. So, you know, I like to diversify. Okay, I've got several different passive income streams that I'm in. And, um, you know, this one at one point, I think this was up like up to around $100,000, okay? So to see it come down all the way down to about seven dollars $8,000, um, obviously the price of uh, Splassive has been declining since the original exploit. But I do trust this platform. I trust the developer. I think he's a cool dude. All right, guys, so, you know, happy to put more money into this, especially if, uh, considering the fact that they've got other products that they've launched, like the Splash Pads. They've also got a game that's coming out soon. I haven't gone into the Splash Pads. I'm just more, you know, focused on building my account in the well. Okay, guys, uh, so if you look at my deposits, we're back up to about $19,000, $19,500. Okay, guys, max payout on this um, is $35. A thousand two hundred and twenty. Um, I like to keep my account in net positive, okay, guys, because obviously then I get my um, my rewards from um, you know people's compounds and people's initial investments and so on. The link is in the description if you want to use my buddy link on this as well, okay, guys. But you know, for me, um, it's speculative, right? Because at the end of the day, a lot of people don't trust Splash anymore like the way they did, okay. But but you know, for me, um, the developer has come back. The developer has, uh, you know, made this thing, uh, you know, put this thing back on the market pretty quickly. It didn't take him, you know, more than, I don't even think it was two weeks uh, to get this thing back up and running again. So, you know, I wouldn't give up on Splassive at this point, okay? I think it's definitely a good project. Um, the developer has a reputation. He's trusted. Yes, he had some issues, of course, uh, where, the, you know, they forked the original source code of Drip and it was an exploit. That is definitely an oversight and have definitely you know, stop the growth, um, you know, they stopped, the, like, that caused, um, you know, this could have been, you know, something huge, it could have been a lot bigger without that issue, okay, so it is a bit of a, you know, disappointment with that, but, you know, they have come back, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, and, um, you know, apart from that, I haven't got any complaints about this platform, 2% a day, the rewards are great, okay, guys, and if we can start to see this moving back to the upside, you know, I'll be, you know, I know I'm going to be happy with the results, okay, guys, so, you know, um, yeah, I've been compounding, okay, and now, like I said, I've put another deposit into here, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm still hopeful for, for what we can see out of this platform, guys, um, when they launch the game, not sure, you know, how that will affect the price as well, but it is going to mean more utility for this, for this token, right, the splash token, and, um, 
Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll have to wait and see how it goes, guys. I mean, it is a risk. So, obviously, you know, none of this is financial advice. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. But Drip and Splassive, still two great platforms, in my opinion. Okay, guys. And, um, you know, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. I'll leave all my links in the description. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.